okay so finally we are going to set up a web hosting product at last okay now I'm going to click create sorry about that create a new product here and now we are going to still use uh, um, the eat memo product group but the product type we're going to use shared hosting account okay now here I'm gonna use website presence okay and continue here I'm gonna type the description of what people will get when buying the website presence package okay so I have set it up one free stunning website which we are going to create custom made handmade website for free one thousand dollar value one free domain name and renewals five free professional videos for your website and one free SSL certificate for your site and automatically renewed every single year as well so that's what we are giving out to our it memo website presence client so I'm going to choose the hosting account welcome email and we are going to modify that later okay so that's that required domain yes of course stock control no sort order we have to set this as number three that's it and I'm gonna save changes that's safe now it's the pricing part pricing now I'm not gonna give it for free it's gonna be recurring and it's not gonna be old cheapo web hosting surface um, price because we are actually going to build a really really stunning websites and we're gonna custom made the restaurant websites with videos we're gonna bring the most cutting-edge videos onto their websites so it's gonna be pricey the monthly price for this it's not gonna be the 49.95 as the it memo pro but it's gonna be 24.95 a month including the free website design with five videos so that is the monthly price with annually we are giving out one month free so that will be 11 times 24.95 let's clear this 11 times 24.95 equals 274.45 so we're gonna put that to 74.45 with um, two-year payment they get two months free so we're giving out 24.95 times times 22 548.9 548.9 dollars and put all the rest minus 1 that's that I'm gonna save changes now module settings okay on module settings I'm gonna set cPanel as I'm going to use my cPanel um, server okay now here we have so many 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 options but we're not gonna use that okay we're just gonna use the package name here the package name over here just that everything else will be set by web host manager so we don't have to set 
all this stuff here and all this stuff here we don't have to set those okay okay so uh, let's cruise into our web host manager and create the eat memo package so I'm gonna open up here um, let me bring it up okay so this is my web host manager so I'm going to create a new package which I'm going to name it memo so let's find packages here's packages okay let's square that so you can see here's packages okay we're gonna use the packages I'm gonna click add new package add a package here and new package name I'm gonna name it it memo and quota and everything since this is for restaurants and stuff so I'm gonna just limit the packages to quota I think 10 gig would be fine bandwidth I'm gonna give 10 gigs as well FTP accounts 3 email accounts 50 is enough email list 50 is enough databases 5 is enough subdomains unlimited just in case park domains unlimited as well add on domains just 5 okay so that's the package we're creating dedicated IP no not we're gonna we're not gonna go and offer shell access front page no CGI access yes theme x3 will be fine feature list default local locale English and I'm gonna click add now we have created the package eat memo now is the time to link it to our WHMCS now to do that we're gonna go back here but before we can actually assign a server see you have no server listed here server group is like empty right now to do that we have to create a server first so let's just do that now so I'm gonna go to the setup menu on the top click servers here servers and I'm gonna add my server first let's create new group as we did with products and or name it cpanel servers it memo for it memo okay I'm gonna do that and fill active server until full then switch to the next we're just gonna have one server for now but you can play with these two settings okay it's self-explanatory so you can choose whichever you like for the field type you want to add to the least full server or fill active server until full then switch to the list it's up to you so I'm going to choose the default option there and simply save changes 